Yeah, we just wanted to make a video to show you guys, like, if you got a solo mark, whatever, you know, the three things you want to upgrade, you know. Well, three things that I have upgraded personally that yeah. some problems that I've run into, and that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say real quickly, and I'll move right on, that we are not affiliated with anyone. So, I mean, all this equipment, anything I'm talking about is stuff that I went out and bought, like mostly everyone else. Yes. Either online or no one said, hey, you give us a good review or you put us on your little, your channel and we'll, we'll send you some. It's nothing like that. It's all personal use with no influences and everything is our opinion and it's our channel. Yeah, so. So our channel, our opinion. Yeah, I'll talk about the mount right off the bat that came with my telescope. Yeah. It was really cheaply built. I can't put it any other way. Yeah, we're not you know, dogging on them. I'm not trying to dog on anyone. And they did send me another yeah. one rather quickly. You know, Solo Mark, they did send me another one, but it was wearing out so fast. I'll just kind of go up here and yeah, give a little the, bit of... Show the secondary. I'll just show you just the bay. There's a lot wrong with the design of this thing, and it's cheaply built, and I am sorry to say that. That's my opinion. And let's just start within your, er your working part here inside here where your telescope is moving what is it longitude latitude and stuff like that to track the stars and it's on gears in your working parts here gears like this this came out of one of these after about a month of use and you can see how they wear out because they don't handle the weight and stuff and it's just I was really having problems with it even when they sent me another one so I have one that's basically brand new because I just bit the bullet and said okay they didn't take a lot of time with their mouth no this thing is awesome it's a it's a Celestrion on the XLT GC4 it was well worth the, the investment Yes, and just that, so that's the first upgrade. I went to this bad boy, yeah. and um, it's got all bearings. It's a, a Celestron, I will tell you what it is. It's a Celestron. On the exit, Yeah, GC4, like you just said. Mm -hmm. And um, this, like I was showing you the working parts of that, the one that came with my solo mark. This, on the other hand, where all this turns and you see, you know, it's balanced too. Yeah. So this has steel ball bearings. Yeah, it's just smooth as it is. It's smooth, it's made for the weight, and it's just, I mean, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. When you're turning the knobs with those, uh, you don't those, even hear it, it's like a Cadillac. Gears. Yeah, when you turn with those gears, they got to go into the next gear slot, so it can't stop so even perfectly. This, so right here, when you're going this way and this way, both of these, any working part like that is still ball bearings. It's not gears that are going to wear out, and that's the problem with the, the one I had. That's why I upgraded, and I'm like you, I'm on a budget, and, you know, when you go look for one, anything like this, you're looking at least, you know, twelve hundred, yeah, thirteen hundred dollars. You know, the one above this is like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, and so, the one below it is an Orion for one ninety nine. But that one apparently, but I don't know, so I'm not even going to say anything yeah. about that one because I didn't get that one. I got this one, so this is the one I'm going to talk about. You know, but like I said, they're not, I'm not affiliated with Celestron or anything. This was my own doings, and um, I can't wait to get out there when the rain stops and, and really show it off, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get good videos. That's my phone probably saying rain, rain, rain. Okay, so we're off so that, that now. The first major 
or the, I would say the, one of the most important things you want to upgrade is your mount. Yeah, the mount, I think we already talked about the tail rad right now. No, I deleted it. It's all gone. Okay. So I'm doing that. The eyepiece was the next. This was a thorn in my side. The spotting scope. The spotting too. scope. You can watch videos of guys saying have patience and you just move this and you get it on the North Star and you know, but when you're out there in the dark, cause everything you do is basically in the dark out here, you know, let's be real. So, yeah. and this is cheap. It's just, and the, it, the it all, it knocks out of place very easy. And the actual X itself, the spot things is black. So you can't see anything at nighttime. Oh yeah, and I, yeah, I lose the cross there, they call yeah. it all the time. Um, so I went with the tail rad. I'll just go ahead and take it off here so I can show you. Yeah, and it comes with the mount so you can attach it to other telescopes if you got one. This tail rad, it's been around for years. And let me tell you, you know, so far, it's definitely the best and easiest one to understand. You know, you get your target through the glass here, which is not magnified. You have a magnified one here that's throwing out a 3D image of your, let me see, I might be able to show you. Oh yeah, I can, let me see. I gotta get it just right, there it is, see that? And with these here, you can very easily get it lined up and this comes with a mount and that's what a lot of people do you can buy more mounts for this because you mount it with two-way tape so a lot of people just buy another mount yeah, you can see it and way. put it on another telescope show you guys this but anyways it the only drawback i've had with it so far is um Cold. Yeah. There is a certain temperature to where if you blow it, you know, if you're, it just, it'll fog up. And um, that could just be telling you it's a little too cold. So, anyways, moving right along so I don't bore the shit out of you. The eyepiece that comes with my Solomar, you get two. The little calendars. They're calendars. They're not even colossal, right? No. You get a 20 and a 10, and you probably got a 45. Yeah, if that. Um, That's being generous. Percent field of view. So I definitely wanted to upgrade. And when I upgrade, I, I, I research, and I'm trying to find the best deal for your what you're spending, you yeah. know? And these SV Bonies so far have been the, the, the rat, man. Mm -hmm. I got a, they're super plossels. Yep. And they're 66% 60 per, build of view. Degrees. Degrees, so I'm getting better and better shots. And that's, that's all that counts. I just try to work on stuff for better and better shots, so. I think that's the... Yeah, that's the upgrades, guys. That's it. In case you guys were wondering about the the phone on the... Uh, that's just something he made. But I'm working on something where I can use my app on my phone. To identify stars easier and get around easier. Yeah, yeah. identify stars better, maybe. Get information quicker. Oh. oh. Anyways, um... Yeah, like I said, it's not a review. We're not affiliated with anybody. Just giving a few of my opinions. So yeah. But if you get that solo mark, the 130, yep. you're gonna want to upgrade your mount, your eyepieces, and your tail rad in any way. Basically, all the accessories that comes with it, other than the telescope itself, even the focuser is like yeah. a little. It's iffy. Um. But Celestron, man, they, they do, they have a lot more directions and mm -hmm. stuff too. They have more information. Oh, yeah. But that, you know, there could be others out there. There could be better deals. 
we're just this is our channel and uh this is just our opinions you know anyways it's been fun yeah it's been the only bad thing is it has been raining yeah, a lot so here that's why we haven't been getting as much footage as we like and yeah i got all this stuff i'm trying and stuff that i love doing and i can't do it because it's raining and there's you know 